Judgment in the matter of commissioners for His Majesty's Revenue of Customs against SSB Generation Limited. Lord Hamblin will explain the court's judgment. This appeal concerns the meaning of the words tunnel and aqueduct as used in section 22, list B of chapter 3, part 2 of the Capital Allowances Act 2001, the CAA. The issue in the appeal is whether various items, which I shall call the disputed items, which were constructed for the collection and transmission of water to, through and from a hydroelectric power station in Glendoe, Fort Augustus in Scotland, are a tunnel or an aqueduct. If they are, as the appellant commissioners for His Majesty's Revenue and Customs, HMRC, contend, then the expenditure on the disputed items does not qualify for capital allowances on expenditure on the provision of plant. Such allowances may be deducted from income for the purpose of calculating the trading profits subject to corporation tax. The value of the expenditure on the disputed items is around £200 million. The Court of Appeal upheld the Upper Tribunal's decision that the disputed items were neither a tunnel nor an aqueduct. HMRC now appealed to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court dismisses the appeal. I give the judgment with which all the other members of the Court agree. The meaning of tunnel. HMRC contend that the ordinary meaning of the word tunnel is, quote, any subterranean passage. The disputed items uh, <coughs> were such a passage. While it is correct that one ordinary meaning of tunnel is a subterranean passage, another ordinary meaning, as given in the Oxford English Dictionary, OED, is, quote, a roadway excavated underground. This emphasises the significance of a tunnel being for a way. Where there are two possible ordinary meanings, it may be appropriate to rely on a thematic connection which explains the grouping of the relevant items. This is an important part of the statutory context. In this case, tunnel is listed in item one of list B in a grouping which comprises, quote, tunnel, bridge, viaduct, aqueduct, embankment or cutting. List B includes six groupings of excluded structures. The grouping in item one involves a choice being made first to identify specific structures which are to be excluded from capital allowances in all cases. Second, to group those structures in separate lists. And third, to decide the list to which each structure belongs. It is reasonable to conclude that these grouping choices were made for a reason, most obviously a thematic reason. The theme linking the group in which tunnel is included is that of structures related to the construction of transportation routes or ways. Thus, a tunnel is a subterranean passage through an obstacle for a way, such as a railway, road or canal, to pass through. The disputed items are not such a tunnel. The meaning of aqueduct. HMRC contend that the ordinary meaning of the word aqueduct is a conduit to convey water. The disputed items were such a conduit. While it is correct that a conduit to convey water is one of the ordinary meanings of the word aqueduct, another ordinary meaning given by the OED is a structure by which a canal is carried over a river. Other dictionaries give us their first or most common meaning of aqueduct, a form of bridge-like structure for carrying water. As Lady Justice Rose observed in the Court of Appeal, a bridge-like structure for carrying water is what, quote, immediately comes to mind, an observation that reflects that common meaning. In this B item one, aqueduct is listed immediately after bridge and viaduct and in the context of a theme of structures relating to the construction of transportation routes or ways. In that context, it connotes a bridge-like structure for carrying water, such as where a canal is carried over a river or valley. That is its most common meaning, and it makes good sense in its contextual setting. Conversely, if, as on HMRC's case, aqueduct simply means a water conduit, 
it will be very surprising for it to be listed after bridge and viaduct, or indeed in item one of list B. It has nothing in common with the other items there listed. It would also largely render otios, other water conduits that are specifically listed, such as canals, item three, dikes and drainage ditches, item six. The disputed, disputed items do not have a bridge-like structure. In conclusion, none of the disputed items were a tunnel or an aqueduct on the proper interpretation of section 22 of the CAA and the appeal is dismissed. The court is now adjourned. <coughs>